I'm hurt. I feel empty. I lost my world. I lost everything. As Nakia Smith wipes away tears, she can't shake the nightmare she's living. Her firstborn son, Danell Kemp, shot and killed at Outer Drive in Fort late Monday night. When we sat down with Nakia, she wore a blanket with Danell's photo and his medals, plaques, and scholarship letters from numerous colleges. My baby. And just look at it, just look at the pictures, just squeeze it, just hold it. Feel like at least I can hold them like this. Detroit police are looking for the shooter. Investigators say Kemp was in a car with friends at a stoplight. Another car pulled up and someone fired several times at the car Kemp was in. For me to go home, to get woke up out my sleep, three hours later, two and a half, three hours later, to bang it on my door saying, get up, get to the house, Oakwood. Nelly just been shot up. I thought I was dreaming. Never in a million years because my son's not about no street life. He's not a gangster. Nakia Smith made the difficult decision to pull her son off life support hours after the shooting. What's the vibe? What's going through your mind when you're unstoppable like that? Danelle Kim was a three sports student athlete who excelled at basketball, football, and baseball. His mom said he wanted to play in the major leagues. Danelle's death comes as the 18-year-old just started his senior year at Ecourse High. A young man with a bright future, dimmed by the flash of gunfire. Whoever did this to my baby, I hope it's eating you up. I hope it's eating you up alive. I hope it's killing you. I hope you see that face every time you blink. Tell me the names. I turn them in. Just let me know who took my baby. He ain't deserved this. He didn't bother nobody. A mother hoping her heartbreak leads to justice. Any course, Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.